You're listening to Home Sweet Home with Russ McClellan and friends. And here's Russ. Hey, welcome back to Home Sweet Home with Russ McClellan and friends. And today I've got Diana Peters. How are you doing, Diana? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you hey, for having me. Yeah, I'm excited. You're back in the real estate business with us here at Keller Williams. And you're probably going to be joining the Frontline Real Estate Team powered by Keller Williams. Correct. It's, it's a possibility, right? And I'm thrilled about that because we are overloaded with leads. And we have lots and lots of work to do. Um, so one of the things that is cool about what you're doing is you're going to be an inspiration. I can already tell that you're going to inspire a lot of other people that are in their uh, current career. And A, you can show people how in real estate you can do both. And, you know, we embrace that. We actually have systems for that. And then it will be up to you whether you decide someday to um, retire. I mean, everybody eventually retires from their day job, even if they love it. And then real estate's a fun job because you can do it forever. Exactly. You know? Well, and that that actually is my goal. I've given myself a, a eight year plan, which I'm you know down to seven now. Great. And uh, uh, plan to do the real estate full time at that point, uh, and maybe even sooner. Yeah. And so, what's kind of fun is that you um, you're kind of an outgoing person. I want to talk about your nickname, Shotzi. Yes, yes. <laughs> is that a, that's on your license plate, huh? <laughs> yes, it is. Um, my maiden name was Schatzman. And of course, uh, because I'm German, uh, and born and, and raised Frankfurt, Germany, all my family, short of my kids and grandkids, uh, are all, all over in Frankfurt. Um, but when I went to school, the uh, teachers would shorten it to Schatzi, which in German means sweetheart. So took it as a compliment and went with it. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. Now, I want, I want to put your numbers out there in your email in case people want to talk to you. And um, you should because you're hungry, you're focused, you're driven, um, and you get up early. So for those early risers, it's even better. Um, Diana Peters, you can get a hold of her at her cell number 360. Got a pin? Grab that pin. 360-280-2561. Or you can email her, petersrealtyncw at gmail.com. I want to make sure everybody knows that. Diana Peters, um, you know, we're going to have some fun. Uh, at our company, we believe really in four simple rules. Know your product, be yourself, be honest, and do it today, not tomorrow. And if you do those four things and you care about people and you care about your clients in the fiduciary sense, great things are going to happen. Let me ask you something. What is it about real estate that really initially, you know, you've only been licensed for a year, but you've come a long ways. But when you look back at that year, what was it that made real estate exciting for you? What was it that got you sparked in the beginning? Um, it was something that myself and my daughter were going to do together. And um, when, when my daughter was younger, we would go to different open houses and uh, meet different realtors over on the coast. And we just loved it. We, you know, the nosiness of seeing the inside of all these homes and, and talking to the other realtors. Um, we'd always talked about doing it together. Uh, we were both doing our training, um, our classes. And uh, unfortunately, my daughter passed away two years ago um, at age 25. And it... Uh, uh, it took me a couple of months to get back into it. And so now everything that I do, um, I know my daughter is sitting right there on my shoulders. Mm. Um, and she's my motivation. Wow, that's an amazing, uh, yeah. tragic, but inspirational story that you followed through with a dream that you collectively had. And uh, I feel very blessed that you're with us. I don't know if you know Cinda. Cinda Bragg went through very something very similar. Yeah, nope. She's up in Republican. Sadly, her um, her daughter was 21 years old and got cancer. Oh. And so she, she, you guys might connect. And that's the beautiful thing about Keller Williams. We really are a family, and we we all are human, right? We all have been through unique things. And sometimes I think when you're isolated or you feel alone, it can be you know even worse. And and if you can share some of these experiences vulnerable like you just did which is very authentic and very admirable that's the cool thing about having a big group of people that care about each other 
because it is something that you can lean into. Um, we have a program called KW Cares where another one of our broker's mother unfortunately passed away and, and he, he was on the radio show. His name's Seth uh, Stevens. And, and he was blown away that he was sitting in a class in Ellensburg, or excuse me, in Bellingham at Western Washington University. And it was sudden and it was tragic. And we were able to um, help him out with uh, $5,000 that was deposited into his account to help pay for the services of his mother. Oh, wow. So, I mean, I don't know if other companies do something similar. Hopefully they do. But I know that um, we ask our agents, it's not mandatory, but we ask them to at least put in $10 a transaction voluntarily. And if you think about it, if 170,000 people do that, pretty soon Gary Keller, you know, uh, has semis that he sends into areas like Katy, Texas, when the hurricane hit. Uh We actually went down there and mucked out houses as a group to help flood victims of the hurricane or fire victims. And, you know, the idea that Keller Williams is just about real estate just isn't the case. So I I really feel um, honored when people share stories like that and and the inspiration that you can give other people by not only surviving a tragedy, but then turning it into a positive um, because you and your daughter loved houses and um, boy, that's pretty touching, and it's very, you know, it's, it's, it's exciting. My dad was my best friend. He passed away in April, and we worked together for about 30 years, and it was funny because I thought he was going to live forever in hindsight, right? And, it's, I'm not, I, and I know this, that it's, it's not comparable to anybody or especially losing a, a son or a daughter, but it was the first time I dealt with it, you know, in my way. And uh, it's, it was helpful to have such good friends at Keller Williams. And so I think the, the point I'm trying to make is, we're always going to be there. Real estate is something that we do, but it's not who we are. You know, we are people that care about each other. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And being nosy about open houses is a good reason to start. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I, I do let my clients know that too. Um, when they apologize for such short notice on seeing a home and it's like, nope, I saw this also. I'm, I'm nosy too. Mm-hmm. I'd love to see the inside also. So that's great. And you know, that's one of the four rules, right? Know your product. (laughs) You're going to sell widgets. You got to know the widgets, right? If you're going to sell houses, you better be nosy. You got to know all about it. Uh, That's exciting. I mean, and it's, it's fun too, because we have such a support system where whatever someone's goals are. Now, if someone comes to us like uh, Lois and and who's on our team and Lois was had a full-time job and she was, she was able to transition completely away from that and go 100%. Well, within a few months, she has six pending. She just sold a million-dollar place, and she's just locking and loading. Um, so whether you're going to ha- handle a handful of clients that you're going to devote your time and energy to because you, you know that you have other obligations in a day job, that doesn't mean that they're going to be less because the good news when you're on the, uh, a team like Frontline Real Estate, you know, powered by Keller Williams or Keller Williams in general you can always lean into other people. Yes. And so you're able to, you're like an army. You're backed by an army of people. Um, We're pushing 70 agents, like I mentioned. And uh, our goals, I kind of think we're just getting warmed up. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. Um, They were giving me a hard time. I don't know if you ever saw the the cowboy sign that I had invented. Um, No. Yeah, years ago, when we first started a couple of years ago, I had a sign that had an emoji with a cowboy hat on it. And then it just said NCW Real Estate. <laughs> and that was our transitional company until we got the franchise approved. And um, they were giving me a hard time and they took my design uh, authority away from me. After. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, every morning we get together and we talk about things. And because you're our client as a real estate broker at Keller Williams, we want to make sure that whatever your needs are, that's what we're doing as a leadership team. And that one of the things I can commit to you is that we will always be learning based. We will never be satisfied. Um, we'll, we'll be appreciative and, and we will be content in the moment, but that doesn't mean we don't have improvement because being learning based, I often say that the definition of mastery is simply really finally realizing that, you know, very little mm-hmm. and that the world has, infinite knowledge 
right? And every transaction is uniquely different. So I'm excited to, to welcome you onto the team and enjoy helping educate you with all of our tools and system and technology and and command and showing you how to lead generate at a very high level where we can stop paying that company with a Z <laughs> in front of it that uh, t- tends to take a lot of agents money. I mean, I know people that are spending a hundred thousand dollars a year on bolt on technology when you get everything for 25 bucks a month with our command operating system. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So, well, again, I'm talking with Diana Peters, a brand new real estate broker with frontline real estate team in Keller Williams that you can get a hold of Diana at 360-280-2561, or you can email Diana Peters, or otherwise known as Shotzi, at petersrealtyncw at gmail.com. Thank you for sharing your story. Well, thank you for having me. Greatly appreciate it. Yeah, I'm excited. We're going to do some fun things together. And, uh, and as always, you know, with real estate as our vehicle, we're going to start to transform lives together and continue to learn looking forward to it all right we'll be back uh with courtney as we introduce another one of our real estate brokers here today on home sweet home with russ mcclellan and friends keller williams you make dreams come 